Today, September 9th, North Korea is celebrating the 70th anniversary of its founding. It's usually the day when the regime parades its most powerful military assets and highlights its major achievements of the year. So far, there have been only rumors and speculation about what exactly is happening in the celebrations to come. Let's connect to our Park Ki-jun for a clearer picture of what's happening. Ki-jun, what can you tell us about how North Korea is celebrating today? Well, it's a big day for North Korea, Tion, as the regime turned 70 today. We hear that the parade already ended after beginning at 7 a.m. this morning, but we're still waiting to hear the specifics, especially on the military display and what kinds of weapons it featured, and also whether North Korean leader Kim Jong-un gave out a public message. The North Korean media also didn't cover anything on the parade yet. Observers have been speculating about whether North Korea would bring out its ICBMs or anything long-range capable of hitting the U.S. because on previous anniversaries, it celebrated the accomplishments of its nuclear scientists and also flaunted its newest assets. Just back in February this year to mark the establishment of its military seven decades ago, North Korea displayed its Hwasong-14 and 15 ICBMs, which can deliver nuclear weapons to any city in the U.S. mainland. Hundreds of trucks carrying thousands of troops heading to the square were seen earlier today. The South Korean government is still looking into whether the missiles were present at the parade, but there was also more military personnel compared to February's event. I will bring more updates on that as, as we get them. Well, we know so far that major guests of honor from other countries were also present, including Li Jianzu, the number three man in China representing Chinese leader Xi Jinping, and from Russia, Valentina Matvianko, chairperson of the Russian Federation Council. Delegations from Turkey, Canada, Iran, and also other countries attended the event. And although he wasn't there in person, President Xi sent a congratulatory message to Kim that emphasized the two countries' close alliance. And he also said that he hopes to work with North Korea to bring prosperity to both countries. Also, Russian President Vladimir Putin sent a message in which he said he hopes to enhance cooperation in various fields with the North and that he'll support North Korea in bringing peace and stability to the region. Now, it's highly likely that the scale of today's parade reflected North Korea's determination to keep up the momentum of dialogue with the U.S. and also its willingness to denuclearize. It is played as two militants would have upset the diplomatic alliance on the Korean peninsula. Plus, Kim Jong-un will be hosting South Korean President Moon Jae-in in Pyongyang for the third inter-Korean summit of the year, so the North had to tone down the parade's militaristic aspects. Well, that's all for me for now, Tion. I'll be back with more later. Back to you. Thank you, Hee-jun, for that report.